Are you ready? Now's the time. Yes, you really want to tell them now? Yes. <laughs> Many of you have followed me for a while, some of you are new here. We love to travel, right? That's why we have a travel channel. Most of you already know that I am Brazilian and we Brazilians love football. Soccer. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, soccer, Canuck. <laughs> football to the rest of the world. No, I cannot even believe I'm saying this. We have been invited by Qatar to join them on the road to 2022. Qatar, the host of the 2022 World Cup. What does this mean exactly? In the next few months and years, we'll travel to Qatar to answer all those questions we have about it. What can you do there? Where do you go? What do you eat? Where do you stay? Not sure many people even know where Qatar is located, so let me get that clear. Look at this here. Here's the Middle East, and Qatar is right here. See? Shape of a hand, huh? Look at this. What other place in the world is also like a hand? Let's see how good you are with geography. I don't know, but I know Italy is a boot. Yes, it is a boot, but a hand? No. No? No. Michigan, Michigan. Uh, Lower Michigan, huh? <laughs> it's like this. Okay. <laughs> we'll be there creating a series of videos answering who, what, where, how, and why. Don't forget when. When, yeah, that's right. All here on this channel. Can we get out of the sun and sun? It's hot here too. <laughs> it's not Qatar yet, right? No. It's not like Qatar. Can we go to the real desert? As a journalist and media professional, I have worked on many football events. Every World Cup since 2006, for example. <laughs> the days of low definition cameras. Huh? For the 2014 World Cup, I even moved back to Brazil and saw all that excitement up close. Seven to one. <laughs> that was that too. The World Cup is more than sport. It's the people, the host country, the culture all wrapped up in this environment of friendly competition and celebration. It's something you never forget. And every World Cup is unique. <laughs> For Qatar, this is even more special because it is a World Cup of first. First in the Middle East. First, at least in recent history, that you can attend more than one match per day. Everything's so close. First, four matches every day. Yes, in the entire group stage. And also the first carbon neutral. We're witnessing history here. When you say Qatar, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? It's hot. Yeah, it is hot, very hot, especially during summer and more than here in Florida. But guess what? The World Cup is not during summer. It's in November, December. Actually, another first, you know, first time in history. So the weather should be like summer in Canada or Northern Europe. Ooh. <laughs> you like it, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Spain, Germany, Colombia, <laughs> Argentina. <laughs> I don't see Canada. No, Canada. Oh. <laughs> it's the closest we can find to Qatar, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's the closest. Uh, well, not that I go to Qatar, I get the shit. Wow, look at this. The first question online. Is Qatar a safe country? As far as I've been reading, everywhere, it is a very safe country. One of the safest countries in the world. Actually, it's in the top 20. By the way, send me your questions. We're now researching here about Qatar. What would you like to know? You can actually help us plan this new series. Your questions might actually help a lot of people, so leave them here in the comments because I'll be constantly checking. I'm serious, we need your help planning this. I even got my planner here, my travel journal, and I want to fill all this here. <laughs> There are a few things I already know about Qatar. It is a very modern country. Also, there are lots of foreigners. They are the majority of the population. So English is probably like an unofficial second language so that everyone can communicate. It's probably spoken everywhere. The capital Doha is all futuristic, full of skyscrapers. What else? Brand new metro, a variety of malls, parks, museums. At least that's what it says online here. Can't wait to see with my own eyes. It's a modern city. It's at the crossroads between Asia and Europe. Totally. Okay, look at this, like New Year's party. <laughs> yeah, crossroads. Europe to Asia. <laughs> yeah, and the thing that it's probably not New Year's, it's probably normally like this. So, this is Qatar here. <laughs> Everything's concentrated here on the east. 
where Doha is located. It's clear all filters here. Let's see the metro. Look at this. It's a brand new metro. The stadium's now. Oh! You can actually use the metro to get to most of the stadiums. Look at this. Very cool. Everything is so close. Look at this. You know what this means? You don't even need to change hotels, you know, when you are in Qatar. You know when the teams travel in the World Cup to play different matches in different stadiums? If you fall in your team, guess what? You need to travel too. And that means taxis, flights, everything. Here, you stay in Doha. You pick a hotel here and you can stay there until the end of the competition. Wherever they go play, you go there. You just catch a different metro line. Desert camp. <laughs> you can spend a night at the desert. It's like in the movies, you know. I'd leave the hotel for a night here. <laughs> what about you, baby? Would you? Do they have deserted camps? <laughs> the desert camp, not a dessert camp. Not a dessert camp. <laughs> By the way, this is how we plan our trips. You know, a lot of people ask us how to plan a trip, and this is how we get started. We find the official website for the city or the country you're visiting, and you start there, see what they suggest. Here we are at Qatar2022.qa. It's the official website for Qatar 2022, and they have so many ideas here. They're making it really, really easy for you to plan your trip. But we'll make it even easier. Yes, we will. <laughs> Keep watching this channel, come back here in the future. If you're more of an Instagram person, they have a lot of nice videos here on their account. So go discover some places here in Qatar and then tell us what would you like us to film. Oh, look at this, this is the pearl. It's a man-made island. Let me zoom out here so that you can see. Look at this, wow. I so want to see this place. I saw some pictures online and it is really, really impressive. Look at all these stadiums here. Eight stadiums in total and four are already completed. <laughs> this much time in advance. Oh, this stadium here, this is where the opening match will be. And it's so easy to recognize because look at this. It looks like a traditional tent, you know, used by Bedouins in Qatar and the Gulf. Look at this, how unique. Bedouins are nomadic people in the Persian Gulf. All stadiums in Qatar have some kind of reference to the Qatari culture. It is so cool. And they have air conditioning. <laughs> yes, they do. They have a cooling system. You know, this World Cup in Qatar takes everything to a whole new level. Talking about cool, you know what else is cool here? These stadiums will be dismantled after the World Cup. At least in part, this stadium here will be fully dismantled. Can you believe it? Wow. And the pieces will be donated to countries that need this kind of infrastructure. Another first for this World Cup. This stadium here, look at this. This is like the hat worn by men across the Middle East. It is so thoughtful. I'm looking forward to go there and learn the stories behind all these stadiums. What really excites me about this project is that we'll be creating travel videos in the build-up for the World Cup. I am so grateful to Qatar for inviting us and giving us this opportunity. So I invite you to join us. Come discover Qatar with us. And if you are from Qatar or if you've ever visited, let us know what are those things that we cannot miss, that we absolutely have to show in our videos. And you want everyone to know. We rarely get to talk to locals when we're planning a trip. This is a great chance. In 2022, football will again unify all of us and we'll need it more than ever, especially after so much time in isolation. I mean, when was the last time we've been in a stadium? You remember that one? Uh, just now. No, no, inside. Brazil? Come on. 7-1? No, last year we were in a yes. stadium. <laughs> but uh, when are we doing again in the near future? Who knows? Qatar. Qatar is future, future. I'm talking about now, no. next few months. Now we just see stadiums like this outside and we're not going anytime soon again, unfortunately. No. Yeah. 
So Qatar, here we come. We have a few months to plan the first trip as we're not traveling anytime soon. It will most likely be at the end of the year. So we're open to all suggestions. We really want to hear from you. So we thought about creating a slightly different video compared to what we normally do in this first trip. We'll do the vlogs as always, but what do you think of a video detailing accommodation options and areas where you can stay in Qatar? Or maybe a list of unusual things you can do in Qatar? Let us know which one you prefer. Or maybe you can even come up with something else. Let us know in the comments. In two weeks, we'll pick one of the responses for a video call with us so that you can explain to us your idea and you can also ask us anything you want about traveling, filming, working, planning, anything. How does that sound? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm okay. not. <laughs> We're on the road to 2022. <laughs> Is this the road to Qatar? <laughs> no, maybe to the airport if we turn around. I already know my first word in Arabic. Shukran. Sugar. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> like, shukran for watching. Shukran Qatar. <laughs> Don't forget about the why, the who, the where, the when, the why. <laughs> How is important too. Yeah. So now we can go to the real desert. Are you ready? Maybe. Do you really want to tell them now? Yes. Do you really want to tell them now? Uh, maybe. Are you ready? I am. <laughs> Do you really want to tell them now? No. <laughs> <laughs>